four o'clock and we'll be starting the regular called meeting. Roll call, please. Okay, Mayor Ambrosio Hernandez. Commissioner Michael Pacheco. Here. Commissioner Bobby Carrillo. Here. Commissioner Ramiro Caballero. Present. Commissioner Daniel Chavez. Commissioner Ricardo Medina. Present. Commissioner Itza Flores. Present. We have a quorum. Motion to excuse absent members. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous motion carries. Pledge of allegiance. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Dear God, we come to you to bow our heads today to open this meeting in prayer. We ask that you would bless our city and that you would bless our time together today. May we grasp those things that you want us to understand and may our hearts always be ready to respond to you and your wisdom. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody for public testimony? No, sir. Public hearings? No, sir. All right, under item 4A, city manager's report, we have the city engineer report, packets in your house. Information's in your house packet if you all have any questions. All right, next we have UD with City Events of Interest. Good afternoon, Commission. Yudi Gonzalez, Media Director for your Office of City Communications. We have two brief recaps before we announce our future events. The first ones are Trail of Terror. This is a Halloween signature event here in the city of FAR. This took place October 26th through the 29th at the FAR Vanguard Academy Nature and Birding Center. Well, I love horror movies, so for me, it's very fun just to see all the characters come alive from out of the screen. As long as they love horror movies, I would recommend them to come. It's a great free event that the city puts on for you, so I'd say come on by and have fun. Basically, my favorite part in this was just walking with my family and having fun and getting jump scared. La parte que más me, o sea, me dio más miedo cuando estaban los payasos. A mí me dio mucho miedo, pero se lo recomiendo mucho. Que es algo, o sea, algo diferente, algo que está al aire libre y asustan mucho. This event uh, was pretty much staff, you know, from different departments, uh, about 15 uh, areas, and a lot of work went into this, and people really enjoyed it. I believe our city manager was also there first night, uh, Mrs. Cinda Pedras as well. So, again, people loved it. Our second recap is the uh, trunk or treat with record-breaking numbers. We have um, our chief here as well to elaborate on this, um, which actually happened on Halloween day. <laughs> Trunk or Treat is our annual um, Halloween event that we have every year. I want to thank all the part, everyone who participated and or donated to our annual Trunk or Treat event. It's a Halloween event we do, uh, we've been doing for the past years on Halloween day. I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, was able to donate uh, candies. We were able to receive a large amount of candies and we were able to serve hundreds of people that came through our drive through um, thank you to our business partners, our community uh, uh, volunteers, nonprofit organizations, and, and really to Team FAR also, all the departments that were able to come out here and collectively help us put on an event like this. Uh, once again, that happened on Halloween day, and uh, Chief Gonzalez is here if there's any questions. No, nope, moving on, perfect. So we have two events approaching. Our first one's this Saturday. This is our annual Salute to Veterans Parade. We will be live streaming this parade starting at 5.30. Uh, we you know, really expect people to stick around. We'll have live music, entertainment, and market vendors. And the fireworks start at 8 p.m. This is a traditional event that happens in downtown FAR every year. So we really encourage people to come out. And if you can't come out to join us in downtown FAR, we will live uh, stream this event. Uh, our next flyers are Winter Wonderland. This is a combination of our traditional Christmas posada coming together with the lighting of the Christmas tree that happens every year in downtown Far. 
Uh, the lighting of the Christmas tree will begin at 7.30, but the actual event starts at 6.00. Uh, this is also a traditional event here in the city of Far. We have our lighting of the Christmas tree, Christmas characters. This is a free event. We have, um, you know, music. We have activities. We have a lot of uh, free activities for all of the families. Uh, this is a very popular event for families. So we really encourage people to start saving the date. This is happening Friday, December 6th, once again in uh, Far downtown. <coughs> That's all the events we have to announce. Thank you. Thank you, Yudi. All right, next item five, consent agenda. All items listed under consent agenda are considered to be routine and non-controversial by the governing body and will be enacted by one motion. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous, motion carries. Item 6A, consideration and action of any amending ordinance number 0-2024-07, adopting an updated procurement card policy manual. First reading. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous motion carries. Item 6B, consideration and action of any on ordinance amending ordinance number 0-2024-17, municipal fiber optic fee schedule. First reading. Move for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous motion carries. Item 6C, consideration and action of any on resolution to accept petition for voluntary annexation setting date, time, and place for a public hearing authorizing and directing publication of the notice of such public hearing and directing the city manager to prepare a service plan for 22.94 acre track of land being part or portion of lot 255 Kelly Far subdivision of portion 69 and 70 located on the south side of East Avalina Drive approximately 1700 feet west of South Veterans Boulevard in the city of Far's extraterritorial jurisdiction ETJ Hidalgo County Texas Move for approval all those in favor? Aye. Unanimous motion carries. Item 6D, consideration and action of any on resolution allowing participation with Equalis Group for cooperative purchases and or services. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item 6D, consideration and action of any on resolution in support of State Highway 68 and design modification route number seven. I have a question about yes, that. Uh, are we voting on what um, Representative uh, Eric Canales is recommending? Yes. Is that what yes. we want? Yes, yes. Okay. Move. That's for approval. Okay. Second. Second. Any discussion? Yes, Commissioner. Oh, second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes. Item 7, a consideration and action of any authorizing city manager to enter into a service contract with Southern Tren Trenchless Solutions out of La Feria, Texas for the repair and rehabilitation of manholes through by board contract number 730-24 in the amount of $247,466. Motion to on table. You need a motion? Okay. Move, move to on table. Second. 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 All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, pass it untabled. No, we need a motion Move to, to approve. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes. Item 7B, consideration and action of any on memorandum of understanding between the City of San Juan Police Department and the City of Far Fire Department to provide tactical emergency medical technicians for the law enforcement emergency regional response team. So moved. Second. Who's this? Is this fire, right? Correct. So what is this again? This is for the it, SWAT team, sir. I, it, I know, but yeah. plain English. Yes, sir. It's to provide uh, medics, uh, EMTs, uh, when they have call-outs uh, in case something happens so that they're to treat uh, any patients or the officers. Is, is so this an, on top of what they already have? Like, are we going to be in a backup situation for them? Or? Are you not asking for us to back up their EMS kind of deal? No, no, sir. This, this is, is totally this is, different. This is on the law enforcement side. On law enforcement. On law enforcement. To okay. provide That's medics. what we're going to clarify. Yeah. All right. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Item 7C, consideration and action of any on interlocal cooperation contract between the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and the City of Far for the use of the Regional Security Operations Center services. Okay. You want for approval. Second. You want to explain that, Jonathan? Uh, yes, sir. So this is a uh, cybersecurity center that will be operating 24-7. Each region in the state was allotted a university to be the uh, 
the gatekeeper of this, and for our region, it is Un uh, University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. They're gonna monitor alerts for network attacks, and it provides free training and access to the software. And so we're gonna have the ability to tap into that, those services. And are we tied with them for multiple years, or is it just a yearly thing, or? This is an annual, correct, Jose? Who, where, who's doing it? Jose. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, so, uh, Mayor and Commission, there is a, uh, uh, an opt-out at any point within 30-day written notice. Okay, great, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes. We are adjourned at 410. Thank you, everybody.